Welcome into the neutral zone for this week's weekend preview on Q30 Sports. I'm David Martin, joined alongside my two men's hockey beat reporters, Matt Mugno and Aiden Barrett. Well, guys, Quebec had a great run at the Bell Pot. They won the tournament. Matt, what was your big takeaway from that series? They won a close game against UMass in the final, and I think that's key because they defeated a really strong goalkeeper in Luke Pavisic, the sophomore for UMass, and they were able to get a few pucks past them. We haven't seen that much this season, but it adds to another goaltender that they were able to score two goals on, score a few goals on, and then win in the shootout and secure the bell pot. Yeah, you know, Quinnipiac probably was the best team coming into this tournament, and they, they showed it. Obviously, Matt, you just said they had a close game against UMass, not as close of a game against Dartmouth, but they won both. So, I mean, obviously, you want to see Quinnipiac keep winning. We saw them go up in the rankings, so, I mean, we see them go up a little bit more, and obviously, you know, they obviously want to get the bell pot, and uh, I mean, they do. And so, all in all, I mean, it was a good weekend by Quinnipiac. Everything looked good. Even Yanni Peretz made a couple big saves in that UMass game. Let's turn our attention to this weekend. This Friday will feature a playoff rematch from the St. Lawrence Saints come marching into M&T Bank Arena. Aiden, what can the Bobcats do to slow down the revenge-driven Saints on Friday? You know, I think just got to play their game because when they do play their game, I mean, they're the better team. So, you know, Quinnipiac, they have to, Randall always loves to say they have four lines. They got to use all four. All four uh, lines have to be good. Um, I mean, the defense, they don't allow a ton of opportunities. Uh, they're really good at getting in front of the lanes on shot blocks. They don't allow a bunch of chances. When those chances are allowed, though, Yanni Peretz has been up to the task so far. So, I mean, Quinnipiac just plays their game. I don't think they have to do anything crazy. Uh, they have the talent, the skill, and, I mean, they have the type of scheme where, you know, they should be able to win this game. Yeah, and keep your eye, like you said, blocking those passing lanes. Don't let a player like Luke Salem get the puck in 12 games. He's got four goals. He's a shot blocker with 13 block shots, and he has a shorthanded goal to his name. Quinnipiac in their last 10, 8 and 2 against St. Lawrence, against the Saints, but St. Lawrence, we know, ECAC quarterfinal in Hamden. Bobcats win in double overtime. They had to tie the game and fight back in order to win. So St. Lawrence is going to come in with some fire and that motivation from the locker room. So maybe this season they're not performing as well as the Bobcats, the number two team in the nation, but they're going to come in with a fire lit under them for this game. After the Saints come to the M&T Bank Arena on Friday, it will be the Clarkson Golden Knights on Saturday, bringing in National Predators draft pick Ethan Hyder in goal. Now, Matt, what is the biggest challenge for the Bobcats going up against this Predators draft pick? I think it's, again, finding that offense, you know, capitalizing on their power play opportunities. Aiden talked about the defensive game, but we saw with the Cornell game, we talked about this right before we started recording, they need to get pucks on net. They need to find a lucky bounce, generate offense, because that's going to be a game like the Cornell game, a war on the ice. It's going to be all about how you clog up lanes, how you clog up the neutral zone, how you play in your defensive end, how many shots you're able to block, and Peretz needs to stand tall as well. Yeah, no, I agree with you, Matt. But I think that, you know, I don't think you need to change your game too much. I mean, we've seen them play NHL goalies, NHL type of talent players, and I don't think their game really changes too much. I mean, they're shooting to score either way. So, I mean, I mean that's what it is at the end of the day. You're shooting to score. Um, I don't think the game really needs to change too much between uh, Quinnipiac style. I mean, obviously, you know, they are the number two team in the nation for a reason. They already have that talent and skill as well. I think they just need to play their game. If they play their game, I mean, they're still going to find their chances. Uh, just hold for the puckets in the net. Well, that will wrap it up for this week's edition of the Weekend Preview here on Q30 Sports for Matt Mugno and Aiden Barrett. I'm David Marr. Tune in for much more content for Q30 Sports this weekend when the men's ice hockey team takes the ice at M&T Bank Arena.